Hi folks, we're going to take a look at page 241, number 9. So they're asking us to prove this identity. Okay, so again, uh, we're going to need to pick a side. And I'm going to say the right side looks to be a little more complex. I feel as though I can do a little more with it. Um, one thing I do notice, though, about the left-hand side is 1 minus 2 cos squared x looks very familiar. Okay, hopefully you recognize it as looking a lot like uh, one of the cosine double angle formulas. Okay, so that might come in handy later on, but let's uh, let's start with the right hand side. Okay, so here I see everything else is in terms of sines and cosines, so first thing I'm going to do is change um, tan and cotangent into sines and cosines. Okay, so we've got sine x cos x. Okay, and here we've got sine x over cos x. Okay, minus cos x over sine x. Okay, and so here I'm going to subtract these using a common denominator. So again, sine x cos x, and here common denominator is going to be, well, sine x cos x, which is very good because it's going to reduce with that one there. And in the numerator, let's see what we have. So here sine x, we'll have to multiply this by another sine x. So this will be sine squared x minus cos squared x. Um, because again, got to multiply that cos x over there. Okay, so first of all, we see that those uh, terms in numerator and denominator reduce. So here I'm left with sine x, uh, sorry, sorry, sine squared x minus cos squared x. Again, looks very familiar. Looks a lot like the uh, cosine double angle uh, identity or one of them. Okay, but if I look at this one here and that one that I have on the left hand side, I really see that uh, they're very similar. I just have to um, factor out a negative one here. Okay, so if I factor out a negative one, I end up with negative cos squared x minus sine squared x. And of course, this here is just equal to cos of 2x. Okay, and again, keeping an eye on what I have on the other side of the equation, I can now replace cos 2x by 1 minus 2 cos squared x. Okay, and then apply the negative to that, everything in the bracket, and I'm just left with 2 cos squared x minus 1, which is just equal to the left-hand side. Okay, and we're done. So just to recap, this side here looked a little more complex. So I started off with that, changed my tans, cotangents into sine over cos, cos over sine, pretty common thing to do. Okay, anytime you've got a subtraction of fractions, bring them into one single fraction. And then from there, I just had to notice that these expressions looked a lot like the cosine double angle formulas. Okay, that's it for this one.